In beautiful Atlantic Canada, match week 26 in the Canadian Premier League begins as the Wanderers host Vancouver. Out are Sean Rea and Lorenzo Caligari. In are Jeremy Gagnol Apare and Andre Rampersad. Norman should play as a defensive midfielder today. Cameron and Ba, the fullbacks. Garcia and Ramins also in central midfield. Kintav and Diaz, the offensive firepower. Baia with a taste of Vancouver's own medicine, a crunching tackle and sending Giorgio Probo, the Italian, down the touchline. And it's worked back on an excellent bit of vision from the Italian. The skipped shot is cut by Callum Irvin. Massimo Ferrant, who has the willingness and the ability to hit these. It's Robbins keeping an eye on Probo. Ferrant lines it up and shoots, and requires a stop. Well hit from Massimo Ferrant. And we'll send Halifax to the corner flag. Tar will stride back thrice. You have Ramens there as well. Ramens leaves it. Batar strikes it and Romeo heads it. Just over the crossbar, as close as Vancouver's come. I love the speed with which Vancouver are playing, but they don't want to leave them exposed, self exposed to the counter either. Here's Diaz, takes a touch and a great stop from Fillion. Makes himself large, gets his studs to the ball and keeps this nil-nil. Speaking of turnovers leading to chances, not the guy you want to see strutting down Broadway. And then Telfer takes the studs of Baugh to the top of his foot, goes down with a yelp. Another caution going to come out, and it's a second yellow to Ba, and his night's over. The referee waited a couple of beats to make sure he knew what had happened, that it was another careless offense. A little over two minutes before first half stoppage time, it's probably going to be an inflated number, too. Here's Rampersat. Probo finds it. High spinning ball just wide of the back post. Switch of the field from Gagnol Apare. Probo lets it bounce once. Probo oh! take it on the volley. Hit that with some absolutely blistering pace. It goes through the hands of Callum Irving and ends up as a Halifax corner. Catching everyone by surprise, Jordan. Short one two with Gagnol Apare, Probo in the box. Norman will head it clear. Shut up, Colin. Shut up. Shit. Baia. Brings Garcia with him. The right back goes inside to Ryan Telfer. Telfer defended by Enyu. Skips it in. Outside for Rampersad. It's another great stop from Irving. Danger still present. Baia lifts it in, but the Vancouver keeper is able to come up with the catch. But. What I will respect is that he hit it with pace, and I, th I think at that point you can always dream. Fast three minutes to start this second half. Batar spoke to, about him as a potential difference maker. He drives into the box, and he wins a penalty. Nasi Mekidesh goes to ground, misses the ball, catches the Lebanese international. And if Vancouver threw Halifax a lifeline, well, this is a lifeline, life vest, and a flare gun. Where Diaz likes to go low left. Let's see if he changes that up or sticks to all reliable, trying to put Vancouver ahead. He goes to the right. Fillion trusted the homework, didn't read the Mexican. And it's 1-0 for the 10-man Vancouver FC side who get an absolutely colossal goal. Probo gets it back. Switches the field for Claymont Bay. Tries to get Enyu moving around. Ramper sad now as the Wanderers get themselves back in onside positions. Telfer guided out of the box by Norman. Collecting the loose ball. Telfer a little dink off the chest of Gagnol Apare. More and more blue shirts converging upon Callum Irving's goal. Who's going to shoot? It's Gagnol Apare spilled. And another save from Callum. The perfect 
response to conceding a penalty, but somehow not solving the Vancouver keeper. Give it to him now. That's all. That's the save of the match. Well, by into the middle, Rampersad settles it down. Got no upper in, makes the run, and is denied by Irving. Callum Irving is having one of his top performances of the season. Another incredible stop. 165 minutes in a row without conceding a goal. The keeper has a vote in that as well right now. Piash, an extra few touches. Fernandez in the clear. He'll shoot, but can't make Irving move. It's straight at the Vancouver captain. Let off the hook. Here's Diaz. Rea. So many pink shirts collapsing in front of the ball. The shot still comes away. And guess who answers the bell again? It is the ninth corner one of the match for Halifax. And they're not even going to get it into the box because there's a foul in the buildup. Too much pushing and shoving for the referee's taste. And someone's being booked. The referee is chasing after. Austin Ricci. And Zach Fernandez has been shown a straight red for a serious foul. That was great initial work by Ricci. We just want to see him just run in the corner. I think he's just a bit tired at that point. Ray is in, and it's just, just wide. Tiago Coimbra meets the cross. In from the wing. Coimbra again, inches wide. Alphonse goes backwards with the throw for Fillion, but it's blocked. No one between Fillion and the goal. There goes McDonald. Fillion will get there just in time. Let's be honest, Vancouver could have and should have put the game to bed there. But it stays a one goal game. Rea. Rea to the middle. And finds Telfer. Rea once again from Rappersad. Here's his cross. The header into the six is blocked. Farron clips it back. Falls to Coimbra. Just listen to the roar as the stadium erupts. Listen to this place go. In the 10th minute of stoppage time, it's Ryan Telfer into the box. Skips to Irving, and that's it. This will somehow feel euphoric and also disappointing for the Halifax Wanderers. Up a man for about 45 minutes of this game at home. And it took some incredible heroics. Diash at the death.